We are back. This is the Famous in America channel and before we start, we would like to thank you for all the comments and the big likes that you have left on the videos. We are all very happy here and the channel is heading towards 4,000 subscribers. This is simply fantastic. In our video today we will bring famous personalities who passed away in the first 9 days of the year. 2023 is still overwhelming and it comes to the death of famous people, isn't it? In fact, not just famous people, I would say. But the video must go on, so here we go. American writer of fiction and poetry, Russell Banks, died on January 7, 2023 at the age of 82. As a novelist, and drawing on her own childhood experiences, Banks has had her work translated into over 20 languages and received numerous international awards and distinctions. He is best known for his detailed accounts of domestic conflicts and daily struggles, of common and often marginalized characters which often reflect moral themes and personal relationships. His last two works were Foregone, 2021, and The Magic Kingdom, 2022. Banks was a member of the International Writers' Parliament and a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Letters. Rest in peace Banks. Bernard Kalb, a veteran correspondent for CBS, NBC, and The New York Times, who also made a brief and unfortunate foray into government as a spokesman for the State Department, died on Sunday, January 8, 2023, at his home in North Bethesda, Maryland. He was 100 years old. Her daughter, Claudia Kalb, reported that her health had taken a turn for the worse after a fall on January 2. Bernard Kalb is the second centenarian to die this week. The other was American lumber industry executive, founder of 84 Lumber, already reported in the previous video. His sonorous voice has become familiar to millions of viewers. He covered wars, revolutions and diplomatic advances that presaged the end of the Cold War. Our condolences to the family. American editorial cartoonist and comic book artist Jack Bender passed away on January 5, 2023, aged 91, from complications caused by dementia. Bender, who was keen on sports, acted as a diving judge at times, but also did sports cartoons. He wrote and illustrated sports books and, from the 1970s through the early 1990s, contributed cartoons to Baseball Digest, Baseball Weekly, Hockey Digest, and Football News. Bender moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma and taught art for a while at Platt College. He switched to comics helping Don Martin with the Nuthead strip from 1989 to 1992. Yet another career change when he also began helping Dave Graua with the cartoon of the caveman strip Alley Oop and would become a full-time artist for the comic strip. Strip in 1991. Jack William Hayford, American pastor, writer, composer and educator, pastor of the International Church of the Foursquare Gospel, died on January 8, 2023, aged 89 and the causes of his death have not yet been revealed. In 1969, he founded the church on the way in Van Nuys, California, which he presided over for more than three decades. He was converted on February 25, 1944, at Oakland Foursquare Church, in Oakland, California. He has been married to Anna Smith Hayford since 1954, has four children, eleven grandchildren and several great-grandchildren. Graduated from Life Bible College in 1956 and from Azusa Pacific University in 1970. Founder and Chancellor of the King's University, formerly the King's College and Seminary, in Los Angeles, which he founded in 1997. Creator of the Day of Prayer for the Peace of Jerusalem, is the author of more than 50 books and 600 hymns. He was co-president of Empowered 21, focused on shaping the future of the Esirido Santo movement in the 21st century. I confess that it was difficult to get information from Mr. Jack Hayford, but we still brought the information. May God comfort the family. See you soon, here, at Famous in America.